Well, 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 how the tables have turned. Is this photographic evidence of Monica Real harassing a fan? This agenda is getting way too far. He already lost his job, lost everything. Rooster Teeth fired him, Funimation fired him, and they're still coming at this man. Monica Real, the SJWs, everybody. Like, People are going after her head on Twitter, too. Nobody's really on Monica Real's side besides the SJWs. Other than that, majority of the fans are on Vicky Mignogna's side. Even the Monica Real fans don't even agree with her, as I'm about to show you right now. There's a fan by the name of Jordan. He was speaking his opinion on, oh, look. He got blocked by her just because he said one thing. Heartbroken. I bet you right now on Twitter, this is exactly how Monica Real is on her computer, on her phone. This is exactly how she is right now. And as I'm about to show you right now, this is the most hypocritical thing I've ever seen her say. Like, someone asked her for a question because she said, if you got any questions for me, I'll answer them. And this... This is what we got to show you. She added Vicky Mignogna and said, harass at Vicky Mignogna. So according to Monica Real's definition of harassment, Vicky Mignogna should be able to sue Monica Real. It just makes no sense. What, like, what is her logic? Here's a couple of uh, tweets Apparently, she got her own definition of harassment. You guys ever realize one thing about this case? That this is happening after the fact the Broly movie has blown up in success. Blown up in success, man. Because I see a tweet right now that shows Monica Riel and Vicky Miana having a good time working on the Broly movie. And, not only that, and she put a kissy emoji under Vic and Miana's Twitter and said, it was so much fun. How in the world? Couple months? One, two, three months? Maybe four? Are you not going to have a problem with him? But now, all of a sudden, you want to bring up something long in the past. Something long in the past... You probably weren't even thinking of. You just brought it up out of nowhere. Or what about the time when you two took a picture and hugged each other and were smiling? Why didn't you bring anything up about harassment there? Exactly, it wasn't harassment. You two were smiling. You weren't thinking about any of that. Why are you thinking about it now? The Broly movie's blown up. Yeah, blown up. And now you want to take his position. That's all you wanted to do. This meme right here, I love it. I love it because this, this is true. Jamie Marchie, Chris Sabat, and Monica Real were all in this. And this meme, it just gets to me though. I have nothing against Monica Real besides this situation. I actually liked her as a voice actor. This may seem like a one-sided thing, but trust me, I have nothing against her. There was actually a time she was defending um, the, her own anime, Dragon Ball Z. There was somebody claiming that Dragon Ball was a sexist show. So she rightfully defended it, and she won, she won that argument. I'm glad she did. I have really nothing against Monica Real, but this is just crazy. And... I am against her in this case. And wait till you guys get a load of this. I didn't know this, but I've heard that Jamie Marchi, her husband, is her boss. Which is shocking to me because no matter what, I don't think Jamie Marchi can get fired. You're just with your boss. So, I don't think Monica Real could get fired either. This officially says 
that Vic and Mignogna can't get his job back. Tarnished. You got Jamie Marchie's husband, boss. The boss. <sighs> that just says it right there. Vic and Mignogna can't get his job back. Even if Monica Riel is 100% guilty in this case. There's just no way. He can't go back to work. He can't go back to work with Chris Sabat, Monica Rial, Jamie Marchie. He can't he can't go back. But I just wanted to give you guys more news on this. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Tell me if you're with Monica Rial or with Vic. I don't care, but I know where I stand.